Yo, how'd you find C4? Um, it was So I feel it's only right, like a wrestler or footballer hangs up their boots, that, you know, I hang up my tie. I've hung up my tie right there because I've got this bus for two years. It's got me through sick form and I'm, I'm never ever coming back here again. I'll never have a secondary school lesson again unless I fail. But let's not think too negative. Let me know how you guys found it down below. I just feel like the numbers were so out of control. I don't even know if I got them right, if I got them wrong. I'm gonna be relying on loads and loads of method marks to even get anywhere close to a B. So yeah. Why did edXL love to do a sober? So literally, the more I think about how I just had my last day at school, the more it's like, wow. The amount of people I'm never going to see again, not because I don't like you guys, but I'm just not going to see you again. The amount of relationships you build, like form tutors, teachers, never going to see them again. Like, take a look at this picture of my form tutor when we won him, the championship award for our year group. Like, he's just, he's just a nice guy, funny guy, like, just never going to see him again. But right now, I'm going to talk to you about the C4 exam, obviously, so first off, let's ring my friend John, because John, lovely guy, quite good at maths, obviously got that A start, GCSE and that. And I want to see what he has to say about the exam because I didn't get a chance to see anyone else after the exam because where I have extra time, like everyone just kind of goes home and that sort of thing. So yeah. All right, so obviously John's quite good at maths. He found C3 decent. Yo. Yo, how did you find C4? Um, it was calm. Question eight was a bit dirty, but. Yeah, question eight. I tried changing the bounds, but I don't think he's meant to because when I changed the bounds, it just gave you like some. You couldn't do it. It's mad. Yeah, I, got, I got a math error, but yeah, I just I couldn't do B, so I couldn't do C, so I was kind of fucked. Oh, you couldn't do B. I think I'd done B. What about yeah, question? Do you do question seven? You know the one with the um, yeah, the cylinder. Yeah, question seven. I got the same answer as um, like Marco. What'd you get? One three eight or one four eight. One four eight. I'm actually so gassed I got that. Yeah, I got minus one four eight though. No, but I messed up on the partial fractions question though. You know, question. I don't want to. Don't know what it was, but. The six divided by u times u. Yeah, like lin u. I got I got part of it, but I just kind of messed it up. And yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you know, you know, basically I messed up because you know you have to put every answer in like exact form. Like I just struggled to do that. If you put it in like numbers, I just left it in like two. I didn't like simplify. I just left it in. Yeah, so did I. But some stuff like I wanted, I, I just feel like I messed it up. But yeah, it was all right. You know, I found it better than C3. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got a B overall math. Yeah, I reckon I reckon I got a B, or maybe got a B. If not, I'll be kind of disappointed. Are you coming out tonight? To celebrate exam? Where's your last exam? Uh, yeah, we've got business at 1.30 and then that's the last exam. Wait, so going out? Yeah, you coming out? Yeah, what, what, are you finished now? Yeah, I'm finished. Loads of us are finished. Um, if you meet me in Austin, I'm gonna go get some food. So I'm gonna probably buy some of my pizza. Yeah, so John, if you ever watched this, yeah, I just had to put you in for entertainment value. So it was it was kind of a calm exam, you know, as I was saying to John. Question 7, nice and easy, got that. Question 8, I messed up because apparently it wasn't meant to change the bounds. I tried changing the bounds when I was doing the integration thing and that just messed me over. And I, I got part B to um, question 8, but I kind of messed up the bounds then again. The bounds done me dirty. Partial fractions as well. The partial fractions question, I, I done the partial fractions right and everything like that. But getting my final answer, I don't know what happened. I just kind of messed it up. Like, uh, I was sitting there like, why isn't it working? I was getting like a minus number and it just wasn't right. I think I got like learn something over something as my final answer. It was like, it involved like cubes and six over 16. I don't even know to be honest. Let me know what you got down below. I just want to talk about the vectors question as well because I think I got all the parts right up until the very last part of that question because I made a stupid mistake when I was working out, not the very last part, the second to last part. Because instead of kind of working out uh, the length using the angle like Sokotoa like you could have done because you already worked out the angle I decided that I needed to find the uh, coordinate of y and then work out the direction vector of y and do the modulus of it and I think I got like 19.1 which you can let me know down below if that's right I might not even be right so I got 19.1 so I spent a lot of time doing that and then didn't have a chance to even try or attempt the very last question yeah there wasn't really a lot of like radians involved in that paper was there only the last question so my mind is quite fried right now because I went library yesterday, nine till nine, like a solid session. And then today the exam just fried me again. So I can't really like really remember much other than the questions I kind of found hard or got wrong. 
I just know there was a load of questions where it might have been right, it might have been wrong. I don't know if my final answer was correct as such. Overall C4, I'm going to be relying on method marks. I've done some bits right, that's always a good thing. Right now I'm going to go to gym and then I'm going to go out later on to celebrate finishing exams. I need your advice on something. Tell me if you think this would be a good idea. Let's just go upstairs, let's spin. Hmm. Cool. So as I was going to say guys, do you think I should do daily vlogs this summer? Last year I did, I enjoyed doing them when I had something interesting to do. Some days it did feel like a bit of a struggle to find interesting content. But this year is going to be so like entertaining this summer. I've, my summer's really interesting this year because basically I'm going on a lads holiday. Obviously I'm going to be vlogging it. That's next month, 19th of July to 26th. It's going to be so real. We're going Zanti, we're going Greece and that will just be so jokes. And also... I want to develop my own app, my website. I'm more than likely, if I'm free, going to be in one of my dad's films that he's working on. So that'll be interesting. Films that he's working on. So that'll be interesting. And there is some some other stuff that I want to, that I've got to do. Um, possibly like when I'm going to castings and that for modelling or whatever. I'll bring you guys along. Do you reckon I should turn this room into like a little studio area where like I can chill? It's just be kind of nice. Have a couch and that right there. And move my bedroom downstairs. Not in there, that's a toilet, but um, there's because this is like a loft room, isn't it? Problem with these exams is when it's super hot, yeah, I just get so dehydrated, but I'm like, I right, don't drink anything because then you need the toilet. And every exam, I'm almost wet myself. No, 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 please, no. Anyway, let's head back downstairs and check out the student room about this C4 jazz. Because I want to see what the student room say to see what answers I got right. And, you know, the unofficial mark scheme is always a bad thing to look at, but let's go do it. So it turns out there was no actual unofficial mark scheme so far, I guess where everyone can't really remember their answers, but a few discussion topics. The, um, the implicit differentiation question, I'm so glad that came up because basically I, I revised that with my teacher previously. So you know it was like something A to the Y or a letter to the power of Y. When obviously you differentiate that because it's the power of Y, you are um, essentially differentiating something with respect to Y and the question wants it in respect to X. So you had to add a dy over dx to that section of it as well. So you ended up with like dy over dx, something add something add something equals like two things. So there was a hidden dy over dx when you had to differentiate that. If you got it right, you'll probably understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, there is literally no, no mark scheme. Everyone's saying K was 9. It's literally about it. Why is there no unofficial mark scheme? Basically, what's going to happen is I'll leave a link in the description when it's updated and we can all go check out the unofficial mark scheme. I think C4 went better than C3. I'm relying on method marks. Once again, I got a few questions right, a few questions wrong. Sometimes my numbers just got out of control and I had no clue what was going on at all. Yeah, I was getting negative answers. I didn't even know if you could get negative answers. I was trying stuff that like I'd never tried before. I'm pretty sure I created several different uh, new uh, log rules during that exam, which is not good at all. But other than that, yeah, life's life. I finished the exam, summer starts here. We've got so much cool stuff planned. So for today's inspirational talk, I want to say that results don't define you, they don't define me. Just because you don't get the best grades does not mean you can't be successful. Richard Branson, loads of people like that who are arguably the most successful business people in the world, they don't have all A stars at A level. They don't even have anything at GCSE probably, so regardless of what you got today, regardless of what you get, or how you feel, you can still be successful if you work hard. And I will catch you guys later. Make sure you subscribe down below. Lads Holiday coming soon and peace!